Hey, my YouTube family, welcome. Welcome back to Evan Urban Max. Today, on the menu, we're gonna do Caledo and Swordfish. Now, I don't know if anybody out there is familiar with West Indian food, maybe Jamaican food. Maybe I've got some Jamaican people out there watching. You all understand what Caledo and Swordfish is. Basically, Caledo is like, for those who don't understand, it's kind of like a greens. Out. Sorry, my, my grand dog is in here. Get out. It's like greens or spinach from uh, that kind of family. It's the same kind of texture when you cook it. We don't have the fresh one here. What we do have, we have it in a can. You can buy it fresh, but we don't have it fresh around here, so we'll be throwing it out of a can. And then we have salted fish here, which I soaked earlier, so I'm gonna boil it a couple of times, because that's what you do, you boil the salt fish. Anyway, I'm gonna show you. So let's get into this. Okay, I'm gonna boil it until it froths up, and then I throw off the water, and then I boil it again. Some people boil it like maybe once or twice, even three times it depends on the saltiness of the fish or how you salty you like your food because some people they just boil it one time because they like the salt but me i don't like a lot of salt so i'm gonna boil it but not too much so that the flavor is gone definitely not and you don't put a lot of water just above the fish because you don't want to take away the salt too much because that's the whole idea it's called salt fish for a reason it's supposed to be salty yeah i'm gonna make that boil two times and then that's done these are my seasonings that i'm gonna cut up and stuff to add to the um the kalalu. Alright, so I do have some scotch money peppers too. I'm just gonna use one. And try it in there. This kind of food is usually eaten with maybe green banana or yam, plantain, dumpling. That's what I'm gonna be eating it with today, which is called hard food. So we we call it hard food. Oh no, it's just yam and dumpling and whatever else. But it, let me show you the yam. Some people um know yam already. I know people from Africa eat yam, people from like in certain West Indies eat yam, so they know about yam. This is a piece of yam here. It's all different yam. There's yellow yam, renta yam. This is plantain. We're gonna be having plantain with it. Oh, me have, because my granddaughter loves plantain, so I've been giving her all plantain all week. So we had tree plantain, now we end up with this. <laughs> Such is life. But yeah, I'm gonna cook that. I'm gonna mix some dumpling. Um, with the dumpling now, some people use cornmeal in their dumplings, which I like to do. My daughter doesn't have cornmeal here, so we're just gonna have plain dumpling. But use plain flour to mix your dumpling if you're gonna boil them. There's boiled dumpling and there's fried dumpling. With the fried dumpling now, you will use self raising flour and use the whole baking soda and whatever, and whatever to mix it up and butter and vary But with this, it's just water. You don't need to do nothing extra. It's just gonna be flour and water. But if you're making fried dumpling, make sure you don't make it with plain flour. You use self raising flour. But I'm gonna show you about fried dumpling on another day. Today we're just learning kalalu and saltfish. It's different from other people's because my, my kalalu and saltfish don't taste like other kalalu and saltfish that I taste all over, even, including when I go to Jamaica. Because I put the, certain things in there, so I know there's certain Jamaican people out there watching. Don't come for me, you know, because I'm really like how it tears. I pity them like how it tears. Everybody who tears it in the comment always like how it tears. So I'm gonna tell me, say, hey, I use this sauce, I use this. Yes, I am, because guess what? It tastes good. Tastes really nice, oh, and it brings up the fish flavor. Oh, so we just have to turn on off. Well, no, you know what? Yeah, nobody will come for me because you make yours a different way. That's why I said everyone makes it different. But I'm gonna show you how I make it. And once you all make it like this and you can taste it, then you'll see the difference from when you just make it plain, like with just some peppers and you know, a little season in the area. Worcester sauce really, really brings out the flavour of a lot of things and especially colour and sausage. Especially when you got kids that are fussy and don't want to eat these type of foods. When you flavour them with certain little things, it's like it tricks them and <laughs> they seem to like it. So, yeah, that's what I do. And our meat, you see this plant in here? I usually cut off a little quarter and we chop it up and throw it in there too. The colour and sausage, I got a little plantain in there. And that's what I used to catch my daughter. She said, there's a plantain in there, yeah? So it's nice, exactly. I'm using all of these. This now I got the nothing part from trying in it. All right, see, it's there boiling. You see it froth up. All right, that was the second boil, right? So that's that done. I did boil it two times, right? Can't remember, don't? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, to wash everything. Tomatoes and wash piece of pepper. <laughs> Sometimes people inside these pubs here, there's dirt. 
So you always check your skillion and good because you feel say so it's washed when you wash it from the outside. But a lot of time when you start cutting it up, you realize that what's that black stuff? But there's nothing in this one, you can see it's clean. But a lot of the time in scallion, so especially the big fat one, you will find. Or should I say spring onion? I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> in the spring onion, <laughs> you will find dirt sometimes. I kind know of, some people might go to the shop and ask for scallion and they'll be looking at you like, scallion, what's that? So ask for spring onion. My granddaughter sounded like a little gremlin in the background, my bad. <laughs> she's having the time of her life out there. I don't know what she's doing, but I know she's up to no good. She's there with her auntie. Okay. She will calm her down. Oh, I know what she's doing. She's terrorizing the dog. That's what she's doing. It's her favorite pastime. Let me swoop her around by her. Aaliyah! <laughs> Not funny. Don't make them animal noises in the background, please. <laughs> I'll tell you, this girl is a character. Nice right, so and small. So that your kids who are fussy about vegetables don't see it too tough. <laughs> Make them small as possible. And that's the stuff. Ready for the colored of sausage, right? Now you get yourself a nice big pan. Depends on how many people you're cooking for. Usually four to five people of cannabis and salt fish. Well, for me it is, so I need a big pan. But usually with salt fish, it's always going to be the same amount in the packet. Because most packs carry the same amount. You can get it bigger than this. This was a small pack. I should have saved the pack to show you all about. Just remember salt fish. So if you want to go and ask for it in a store, if you don't know it at all, and you want to go and ask, just ask for some dried salt fish and they should be able to point you in the right direction you can usually get these kind of things in places that sell west indian food and african food and stuff like that we anyway we see yam and, and and planting and things like that outside and certain vegetables those kind of stores or they've got all the seasonings like the curry and the coriander and all the things that you need like for your face and stuff like that it's those kind of places that have these kind of foods right so we need some oil in this pan okay just enough to cover the bottom of your pan. This, this is hot. And then pasta, scotch, bunny pepper. Whew. This make it nice and spicy. Just a little piece of this, make a tip, a little corner of the knife. And then we have the black pepper, we have Worcester sauce and some little ketchup. And that's it. First you're gonna throw in your things in the hot oil. Throw it in your, your, your salt fish. Just mix it up with your arm then. Throw it in there. What are you normally gonna add? Garlic. So I need to chop up some garlic. Thank you. Oh, that chop already? Mm -hmm. Oh. Nice. Now have to get your garlic. So also, just start putting the cheese in there. I mean, a little bit. Okay, a little tip of this. About that much. Just to tailor the, 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 the knife. That's not even a teaspoon because show me I got to put a scrap of in there. Scrap of money pepper. You really want to put this up too much. And a little mixing right in there once every tea. And then you start at the wrap the pot. Just the first. Mix it up. So it looks pretty without them pepper there. Yeah, nice. Mmm, it smells good already. That's it. <laughs> Not more than that. I kill your food with ketchup. Just a bit. 
These things that they come in the can, they usually have little water in them, so I'm going to drain out the water. Okay, it's like just to keep it fresh, they put it in some brine or some kind of water. You just check out that. Alright, and then you just try them in the pan. In them grass, see how I say it looks like, kind of like spinach, because of the texture, it's soft. Like how spinach, when you cook spinach, and you just mix up everything. Throw my little planting in there, like I told you all at the beginning. Fast, planting cook fast. Swipe off this side. I'm gonna make little cubes. I can never give so much to my granddaughter, I would have put more in there. <laughs> I want something to eat with the food. But usually, when you go to buy planting, you can get three for a pound, so you'll get plenty of planting to go around if you want to make planting in your meal. I'll show you how to make planting another day, like how you cook it and stuff. But right now, this is how. I put it in my calorie and sawfish and it's going to cook down in there. I'm going to turn it down on low and the little plant in them will cook. And sometimes you can throw um, sweet corn in there too. That's what I like to do with my calorie and sawfish too. When I'm planting, throw corn in there. The corn make it look pretty and stuff. I'm a chef and it's all about eating with your eyes. I like the colours. So, yeah. There. I'm put the lid on. Oh, Miss Cash Bunny Pen, forget my thing. Let me get a little water. Okay. And dry it and there you have it color of a swordfish we're planting nice been talking to you see you all again soon <laughs> Welcome back guys and here we have it. We have the Canada and Swordfish, the yam, planting and dumplings. Bon appetit. So, like I said, simple foods, effing it up with Max, fresh, fast, fabulous foods, done in 50 minutes or less. I shall be back with another recipe. Give me some ideas. Talk to you soon.